Stop avoiding your microwave because someone told you microwaves kill nutrients. They make food toxic, they cause cancer. Sound familiar? I used to believe these two until I discovered the real science that it might surprise you. Watch this video for you. How microwaves actually works? Let's get this straight. Microwaves do not fry our food with dangerous radiation or they don't make food radioactive or toxic. Instead, they use non-ionizing electromagnetic waves to excite water molecule inside your food. This friction generates heat super fast from inside to outside without leaching nutrient into water. So no chemical changes, no DNA damage and no nutrient destructions when used properly. What actually damage nutrients? All cooking causes some nutrient loss, whether it is your gas stove, pressure cooker or even steaming. But here is the kicker. The three real nutrient destroyers are excess heat, too much water, long time cooking, microwaving use, less heat, almost no water and cook faster than any other method. That means more vitamins and antioxidants stay intact. What research says, Harvard Medical School confirms microwaving preserve more vitamin C, B vitamins and antioxidants than boiling or frying. Cornell University study found sweet corn retains 95% of folate when microwaved compared to just 74% when boiled. That is a 21% nutrient advantage. Your microwave may actually be one of the healthiest way to cook or reheat if used correctly. Problems only happen if we overheat the food, microwave it again and again or use plastic containers that leach chemical. Real tips for safe microwave cooking. Use microwave safe glass or ceramic containers. Always cover the food with lid or plate. Stir halfway for even heating and reheat only once to retain maximum nutrition. If you use the microwave correctly, it saves nutrients, preserves flavor and saves your precious time. So next time someone says microwave kill nutrient, just send them this video. I am Sakshi Gupta, your nutrition expert. Follow me for more evidence-based wellness and let's spread truth, not fear. Thank you.